The fight against world poverty is an enormous one. In some countries, 80% of people have to make a living with the equivalent of a dollar and a quarter per capita. Why are some countries rich and some countries poor? And how is economic life different in poor countries than it would be in rich countries? Development problems are often deep. They trick you by offering you an obvious solution, and the true answer lies elsewhere. Welcome to 14740X, Foundations of Development Policy. If you have come here by chance and you're looking for the most exciting and pressing problem of the days, look no further, you've arrived. We need ambition, we need to think about real issues that really matter, and then what else than development? This class covers a wide range of topics about economic development. How does the money flow from one place to another? Do we have issues with corruption? We'll talk about topics like health, education, the role of government. How do we motivate politicians? How do you motivate bureaucrats? How do you motivate teachers? Development policy needs hard thinking. Thinking through data, thinking through experiments. We're going to ask you to think about the design of experiments in a much more concrete, demanding way. Because some of the material is somewhat challenging, you should have a basic familiarity with high school calculus. If you've never heard of a regression is, you may be in the wrong place. You should be willing to challenge yourself with hands-on weekly assignments. You're going to get your hands dirty working with real data sets and learn some of the tools that are used to analyze data sets, both big and small. This class is excellent for prospective graduate students, business school students, public policy students, advanced undergraduates, and really anyone interested in getting a deep understanding of how development problems work. And what we're hoping is at the end of this class, you really would be equipped to make a significant contribution in any organization that works on this type of problems around the world. What I love about this class is that with just a little bit of economic theory and a little bit of statistics, you get a totally different perspective on how to think about real development problems. I have been teaching this class since I joined MIT, and it has always been a super exciting class to teach. It's intellectually challenging. It's about the most important problems of the day. It really equips students to think about policy in a way that is both analytical and practical. I believe you'll find it rewarding. I love teaching this class because at the end of the class, I feel that all of us end up having a deeper understanding of things that we already thought we understood.